three first downs? That's a pretty good recipe for success. <laughs> now the first carry for Bush. And some room to run now. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. Well, that's the desired outcome coming out of here in the second half of being able to run the football and establish a little bit of pace and maybe even a bit of dominance at the line of scrimmage. And they want that to continue. Way too early to think about this being ball control time. But the way they're running it, you got to think they may want to continue that and see if they can go ahead and grind their opponents into submission. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. And he'll get three down to the 34-yard line. Third quarter and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. And they'll run it here. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. Call it a gain of three and it'll bring up fourth down. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And the kick by Elliott is good. And that's gonna bump up their lead now to 15 to three. So the scoring drive encompasses nine plays, and the net result, three points. Take your disappointment and put it aside. Nine plays, yeah, they want to end up in the end zone with a touchdown. I get that. But sometimes those nine-play drives pay dividends later with another nine-play drive that culminates in a touchdown when they wear down a defense. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. able to plow forward up to about the 29 just shy of the 30. It's a pickup of four and it'll bring up second down. You know despite the score line I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road in just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm gonna follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. They'll set up a throw. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Hicks. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. That one good for 13 at a New England first down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps out the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he takes it down deep into Pittsburgh territory. A big play there for New England, 42 yards. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive the team towards a victory. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's Patriot football, but they trail. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And he's got this one down to the 10. A nice job there as he rumbles for nine. And it'll be back to a third and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid game. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits. And the increases like they were able to exploit right there. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, you will not see a quarterback of his caliber miss a one like that very often. I mean, there it is, wide open, got the shot, and he misfires. We talk about, boy, he'll want that one back all the time. He definitely wants that one back. 
They'll drop the throw. And he's going to go down. Sacked right around the 17. The Patriots come up empty on fourth down. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get scout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. All right, here we go. Blue lining! Blue lining! Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And able to get a couple as he's across the 40 to the 41. Offensively with the lead, you want to run the ball, keep the clock going, but you also want to still kind of be in attack mode too, right? So how do you do that and not come back on your heels? Yeah, think about all the practices we've now. watched where they have that tempo period to go over things just like this, where they describe the scenario, tell you what they're looking for, and make sure that they're still attacking, yet at the same time not going so fast as to leave too much time on the clock. Bottom line, they want to keep this clock rolling, so they'll take that one right there. They just want to keep falling forward, and they want to put the onus on the big fellas up front in order to bring this one home. Looking to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. And he gets it down to the 48, enough for the first. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 48-yard line. Four down, four down. Here we go. And on the ground they go with a running back. A decent run there following the display of quick feet down just inside the 45. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. And they'll go on the ground. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Now it appears we have a Steeler here slow to get up. That's very and not good. Let's Great. Seems like everyone's getting hurt, so... We'll step aside. Streak may have finally ended. Or Russ Gentry. Especially because it's the second week in a row he's been injured. Look to throw here and on this one down. looks worse than Bax Bax. Steelers in for the score and the Steelers find a way to stretch their lead and for them this train it just keeps rolling doesn't it well on their way to yet another victory yeah it's almost a runaway isn't it and you just wonder how anyone could stop this they got full momentum going full confidence going but it's not just their own confidence that's leading them it's the lack of confidence against their opponents now because they see them coming and think we've got no shot to beat this team Elliott good on the extra point, and that will make this a 19-point game. Elliott now to kick this one away. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. So the Patriots coming out now. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave them great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. Caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. You're tackling them almost on the spot. That means you have to run extra plays, harder to move it. So the Patriots with the football as we get your reset. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Three nineteen. Three nineteen. Now back to throw. 
Over the middle, complete. That's Freeman. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. And a nice gain of 21 yards. They'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Over the middle, and it's incomplete. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot. Just and he fumbled it. It's on the ground. And it looks like Steeler football. It is. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, say, down this big in the yeah, fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. And this is one of those under review. Leopard! Leopard! This challenge was initiated by the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Yeah, I'm sure the coach wanted to challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance right, to win this ball Blue game. Blue 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 now they'll throw here out of the gun his safety valve here that's complete and he's able to work it here to the eight yard line he'll get only two there and it's second and goal out of the gun they'll look to throw he's going to flip one out here to his running back and he'll be brought down here at the three yard line five yards that time on the completion and now it's third and goal he'll drop to throw and he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there. His third touchdown now on the year. Harrison Butker is on for the extra point. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will shave one more off this lead. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slim just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Now we're going to get a timeout here called by the Patriots as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Right back to him on first down. Now whistles blow and the Patriots are going to take another timeout. As the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Second and 12 and you'd have to assume another all-out effort to stop the run is coming. And they'll go with a ground attack here. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. And they'll try the ground game here with running back. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. 
It's a gain of three there, and that should be just about all she wrote. I've got an idea. Let's skip racing to the airport at the end of this game. Let's go to the post-game press conference. I have a feeling that the quarterback of this winning team is going to give a whole lot of credit to the running game and the offensive line. Yeah, I was just going to say the offensive line, yes, carrying the ball has been key, but those guys up front, they've made a lot of space. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And his kick is good. And that will make this now a 15-point advantage. And another 17 in their season. The it cost a no pretty penny in terms of defense and offensive injuries, though. Those so offensive injuries won't trip right? back. Not letting them break your serve. That way you hold on to it. They got it done, and they feel very good about that victory. So for Pittsburgh, the question now is whether or not what Gentry did is enough to get him the AFC play of Offensive Player of the Week. the 07 Pats and the 72 Dolphins as the only teams to ever do so. And now they'll have the week off as they get set to go after a Super Bowl title. Me He might be back in time for Super Bowl week. We'll see. Yeah, he'll be back. All right, start weekly training. Actually, we'll do all this next week. Let's look at the playoffs. Russ Gentry. Yeah, long shot to MVP. So let's see. Ooh, the Ravens won. Chargers, the Bengals clinched a wild card. Bengals at Chargers, Bears at Vikings, Texans at Dolphins, Lions at Buccaneers. Eight and eight was enough to get him a playoff spot. Jared Pete finally showing his potential. The Dolphins beat the Thunderbirds, so they got the pl uh, got the spot over the uh, Pats. Okay. Thank you. 